All right, we're back. We got the Flex, which is just a hammer drill versus a TE6-A22. So my buddy runs this in his service van. This is on loan for me right now. He's actually here assisting. So I, I haven't even pulled the trigger on this thing yet, so I don't know who's gonna win or anything, but this should be a pretty good matchup. Uh, we'll let this one go first. So here comes the Hilti. That's pretty fast. And another one, here we go. Let's just go ahead and do them all with the Hilti and then we'll come back with the Flex. Here we go. This is quarter inch. Here we go. It's getting dusty in here, man. I don't like it. Half inch bit. Dude, this thing's a monster. I'm telling you, it just eats. Yeah, it does. It's hungry. Here we go. <laughs> now for the big one. The flex can't handle this. <laughs> the little drill with this thing is gonna be crazy. Here we go. That's it? Yeah, that's flush. Um, the desk is cleared out, sort of. Uh, I should go without saying, don't obviously drill concrete or stone in a confined space like this without ventilation or evacuation systems. So we saw what this thing can do. This thing's a monster. I, I think it's gonna beat this, but that's to be expected, so. Takes a bit off. Three sixteenths inch. <laughs> was that an existing hole? <laughs> I was like, wow, I didn't even pull the trigger. <laughs> Nothing set up here. Look how good the flex is. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the flex, it doesn't have the hole. Oh man, there. it's a shame that I'm blind. All right, here we go. Make sure we're in turbo mode. Yep, everything's good. Here we go. It's one of those multi-point tips. It doesn't matter, it's all the same bit. That's why I use the same bit, so you get consistent testing. But this style of bit, even though it's a bigger bit, it drills faster than the small one. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Better tip. Yeah, better tip. Well, screw not going this deep. 
That is true. But still, consistent. sells it <laughs> right it's way slower. right it's way slower so there's no point in even doing the big one sorry I'm not do gonna do it one. do the big one do the big one Hang I on. says do the big one all right we're gonna do the big one but first just we're on the same page here yeah there's no there's no comparison can I talk uh, no comparison. Let's see if the Milwaukee can beat it out. Pickle Rick. Yeah, no. Did you? All right, let's put this in here for fun. Oh. Might be faster. Has the, has the it might be faster. It has the multi tip. Here we go. I was for sure trying harder, but holy moly. Um, it did better than expected. I, it did way better than I thought it would ever do. Damn. Might have been faster. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that. I don't know why. Well, you were pushing way harder. I was pushing way freaking harder. You had your legs bent and everything. Oh, uh, I was way. laying on this The other thing. one, you had your arms out in front for the first half. Most of the time. This thing's getting warm too. Give me that uh This thing's 131 degrees. Oh yeah, it was on turbo. This was uh I should have worn your ear protection. Maybe about 80. Yeah, it's pretty freaking loud in here. <laughs> what? Yeah, um, that was actually really surprising, but a uh, few bars and it's pretty warm. We'll see if it stays in turbo mode, but this thing's just got really fast, really high RPM.
I mean, that's that's pretty crazy, right? I, I sure as heck didn't think that it was even going to be close. It's not on these, but it is on these. Yeah, I can't explain that. Can you explain that? I can't explain that. Maybe the harder hammer isn't isn't as effective at a very large surface area, oh, so that's when getting... speed makes it up. This thing is hot. Is it really hot on the truck? Oh, yeah. Might have ruined your fucking. Oh no, dude! I, this this thing has been so much abuse that uh, that's actually the goal here. Uh, 130 on the chuck. Battery's still at a cool 60, uh, 75, 76 degrees, 79. One bar now. One bar. Uh, all right. Well, we got some data. I. Can't explain the results. It seems like, and I won't know until I edit it, but it seems like the flex does exceptionally well for a very large bit. And this thing's just better in every way, obviously. I mean, it's bigger, it's, it's designed for concrete. Um, but I knew this was a really good hammer drill. And that still stands true. Uh, this is an insanely good hammer drill. This this thing's just groundbreakingly good. I, I don't think I've ever seen a tool do what this thing can do that's not like an SDS with a proper size anvil for drilling and that would probably be because of the 4000 RPMs. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. This one really surprised me. I, I, thought, the, I thought this thing was just gonna absolutely demolish this on every test but um, obviously this is still a better tool for concrete um, I'm just trying to see what's the limitations of this thing and where does it shine does harder concrete matter does faster um, you know RPMs to sharper drill bits what's the difference this thing just pulverizes whether the bit is dull or whether the bit is sharp this thing seems like it needs a sharper bit but when it gets going, man, it, it really, it, the dust flies everywhere and it, it makes a quick hole. So let me know what you in the comments below. For sure, you know, we're, we're going to get some comments and questions about why didn't you do it this way? Why didn't you do it that way? Look, it's getting late. It's Saturday. My buddy's got to go. Um, we'll do another video. Leave your comments below on what you want to see differently. I try to get some 5,000 PSI. Uh, pavers. I'll try to get some piers for a foundation. We'll do uh, whatever you guys suggest, but this definitely isn't, you know, the final verdict. I'm not going to call a winner. Obviously, this thing won, but I'm not. We're not really declaring anything here. We're just doing this for numbers and times. So, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.